Hello everyone. I've had nuisance oil leaks from this 1986 tractor ever since I got it. I've just been putting a large drip pan under it when I park it. And it isn't just that inconvenience I'm concerned with. I don't want even this small amount of hydraulic oil constantly dripping all over when I'm using this machine. I don't like dripping oil all over my floors, my land, or my driveway. After a few weeks, the pan catches enough oil to be a real nuisance. It's way past time to do something about it. And it looks like this soft plug on the side of the gearbox is the main problem. I've used JB Weld to seal rusted out oil pans in the past and it worked for over a year. This situation isn't as bad as a continually rusting pan, so I'm going to try sealing it with JB Weld and see how that works. I'm hoping this creates a more durable seal. Let's give it a try. So I've had this leak out by the rear end ever since I got this tractor. It's not a terrible leak, but it's enough to be a nuisance, that's for sure. This is what I catch, I catch with this pan underneath it while it's parked there. So it's been almost three weeks since I put this pan under here. I got sidetracked, but I need to get this leak fixed. And I just need to have a dry floor when I park the tractor. So again, it's been almost three weeks since I wiped the bottom of this off. And there's definitely oil right here below this soft plug. Quite a bit of oil. So I think that's one of my major points of leakage. And I'm going to do something about this soft plug, or at least try to seal up around it, probably with some JB weld, and we'll see how that holds. At the same time, I wiped this area dry, which is wet now. I wiped off these nuts here, these drain bolts, and they're just beaded with oil on both sides here. So I need to do something to try to seal those better. It looks like they have copper washers or something under them and that's just not working. So I've got to try to figure out a solution for that as well. And I don't want to remove them completely because I would be draining my gear oil. Oh yeah, it's covered with oil already. It's only been like an hour. It's already running out of there. That's gotta be my worst leak point there. So I'm gonna start by removing as much of the paint as I can surrounding this soft plug because I want to plug it with JB Weld and then hopefully I can clean the surface enough and uh, make it bare so that the JB Weld will seal. So I have an assortment of these little wire wheels that go on a drill. And I'm just gonna, there's a few more. Just gonna see if what I can work up in there and uh, try to wire wheel the paint off that soft plug. So hopefully that'll be clean enough. I got bare metal all the way around the soft plug and roughed it up with a wire brush. I'm 
we're going to hit it with some brake cleaner and then try to seal it up with JB Weld. So you're going to mix equal parts of the JB Weld cement. They call it steel. So that and the hardener. That's about an equal amount. Thoroughly mix them up together. I'm just using an egg carton for this. Black and white make gray. You can tell when it's thoroughly mixed. Alright. That should be plenty. Time to go apply it. So I very quickly wiped the oil off. Sprayed it clean with brake cleaner and then spread the JB weld on it. This takes several hours to cure. So for now I'm done. I just have to wait before I can uh, see how well it adhered. They say don't put the equipment back into use for 15 hours. So I guess I'll be waiting until tomorrow morning. Well, it's the next day and I put this piece of cardboard under there. So it's been, been overnight. It's the middle of the day now. And what do I have here? But big oil spot, nice and wet. So there's still something dripping under here. So time to get under there and take a look and see what failed. So this is the JB Weld I mixed up yesterday. It's really stuck in there. Very hard now. I can't scratch it with my thumbnail. How about with the tip of this screwdriver? Yeah, you can scratch it. You can probably machine it at this point. It's so hard. So I actually checked this last night and I already knew it was dripping. Covered with oil. Like a lot of oil. The JB Weld is just not stiff enough. It's not thick enough to hold back the oil while it's curing. It was so thin, the oil actually penetrated right at this point here. And it was, it was coming out, it was dripping out. So what I'm going to have to do now is drain this whole case because the oil level needs to be below this level in the case so that that won't happen again next time I JB weld it. Let's see what else we have here. see that bead of oil right there on that drain plug but that's the lowest point on the case I think it actually runs across this way because it's tipped this way and then beads off of here I won't know that for sure until I get this thing to stop leaking right here but as long as I have the case empty I'm going to pull both of those drain plugs and seal them up real good because right now I don't know if they're leaking or not. Really doesn't look like anything would have been leaking out of there. Oh, 
that side's dirtier. Weird. See if I can get this JB weld off with a chisel. Just an old toolbox, tool belt chisel from from the old days. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this whole time there's been no oil dripping out of here. That was the purpose of draining the case. Okay, I'm going to hit it with a little brake cleaner. It's ready for another coating of JB weld. It's going to stay dry and clean and free of oil as it is right now. One more shot. Well, I think that'll seal it up.
Okay, so that looks really good. It's almost as hard as the piece up on my mixing palette. It's not fully hardened, frankly, uh, but they do say wait 15 hours. It hasn't been 15 hours yet, I don't believe, and it takes 15 to 24 hours to fully cure. But you can see the outline of that soft plug there, which means it's very thin right here, which is the spot where it leaks the most. So I'm going to take a little emery cloth, rough it up, and then put another coat on over it. Just want to provide it a, a rough surface to grab onto, give it some tooth, as they say. I've done JB Weld leak seals like this on oil pans in the past. I did one on my 93 F-150 that I used to have. The one I have now is a 94. And that oil pan leak held for another two years before I replaced the pan. I was forced to. The pan was just totally perforated with rust. But when I patched it with JB Weld, <laughs> it held for another two years. Then another case I had was an oil pan on a 99 Subaru Outback that we had. And that oil pan was in terrible condition. It was just a really rusty, crusty mess. I mean, big chunks were falling off it when I was wire brushing it. But I JB welded over it, where all the oil was leaking out, with an empty oil pan, of course. I cleaned it up, dried it up, put the JB weld on it, and it held for a year before I finally broke down and replaced the oil pan. I'm thinking that because this is not a rust repair, this is just to seal a leaky soft plug. This might last for years, assuming it seals to begin with in the first place. If I put oil in here and it starts leaking, then obviously it's not going to work. But, but if this is sealed right now, this will probably last for 10 years. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Just get the loose dust and whatever oils from my fingers, but... It's not going to do much here with the paper towel. Trying to make it thicker in the middle here. All right, I'm not going to Rembrandt that anymore. It's not getting any better. So I can actually start pouring the oil back in now, and then I can test this thing out tomorrow after it's had time to set up. But before I do that, I've got to seal these two plugs up. After letting these drip out a bit more, I'm going to apply a little bit of the old Permatex Forum a Gasket Sealant, Repliable Non-Hardening, Part 2C. And I'm putting it on, on the threads for these plugs. So they won't leak.
plug it up with some form a gasket sealant right in there. That's one. Those aren't going to leak. Well, it's the next day and I filled the gearbox up with oil around 3 o'clock yesterday. Right now, I'm, it looks like I had no drips overnight, which is the desired result. Let's hope that holds up. Yep, this one's clean too. There was one spot on this cardboard right here, but that came from drips when I overfilled, or funnel overfilled and, and dripped out as I was filling the gearbox. So now let's have a look underneath at that JB Weld seal and see how well it held up. Make sure it's dry and there's no oil on it. The main thing is, did it seal? Well, let's see how that feels. It looks good. The second layer is still not really hard. But I'm sure it will be soon. And there's certainly no oil at all down here anywhere. So it is stopping the leak for sure. And there's no leakage at all coming from those drain plugs. Right now it looks great and we'll get to see how well it holds up. So I'm going to take the tractor out and hook up the finished mower and work it for a bit. Park, then park it in the barn and put the cardboard under it and we'll see how it looks tomorrow morning or the next day.
Okay, I put the tractor back in the barn, put the cardboard under the rear end there to detect any potential leaks. I'll let it sit there for a day or two and then come out and check it, see if there's been any drips. And I'll also check the JB Weld patch that I put over the, that soft plug, see what kind of condition it's in. The tractor ran good today. We'll be back to have a look at the results in a day or two. Okay, it's the next day. Let's see how things look under here. Well, that one looks good. Let's go to the back. I don't see any drips under there at all. Let's see how this looks. After working the tractor a few days later. And now let's see how it looks under here. Well, it's the next next day. Let's see how it looks. I've been sitting here for a couple days. And perfect. Not a drop. Rembrandt that anymore. So I can actually start pouring the oil back in now. And then I can test this thing out tomorrow after it's had time to set up. Thank you for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe.